Mwandike ya barama kandisu ya nikuwa Ruatun Holy Spirit We welcome you in Jesus Mwabuka mwotari ni Ndari ni tuku na talama kuminaka Aleluya ya barama kandisu ya nikuwa Kamu kwa sili tuku mwikia ndari na ideo ni mbula Mwabuka mwotike ya barama kandisu ya nikuwa 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 Ruatun Mwabuka mwotike ya barama kandisu ya nikuwa Holy Spirit We welcome you in Jesus' name Suri tiga nama tu tu ni tu nama nama tak disini ni kuah. Hari lepas weekend awak itu weekend dah. Yang nama tak disini ni kuah kerana saya berdua main na. Lumut ini kalau na, teman tengah kali kalau nama tak disini ni kuah. Masa weekend awak itu mana? Kalau kerana nama tak disini ni kalau betul mulai tarik tarik kasih. Hari lepas nama tak disini ni kuah. Wah, masih malu kita tarik tarik nama tak disini dah. Turang nama ramah dorong mana mana lagi kem ni ramah ni. Yang nama tak disini gosa. Weekend awak itu gaya ni. So tengah hari saya betul main na. Na Facebook live nama tak disini ni kuah. Kita bisa bukan bulan.
the name that is above every name, that every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess. Hallelujah. As we praise Him this morning, we can feel His presence, the anointing, His power, His peace.
We thank you, Father God, for your provision, your protection, your peace in our life that allows us to be here this morning. And we thank you for the revelation knowledge, your word will bless us this morning. The people here in the church, the sanctuary, and also those that are watching on television, and all those that are watching on Facebook, we thank you, Father God, that you bless us equally this wonderful morning. We thank you, Father God, for families that are watching through Facebook from their sitting room, from various places around the country and outside the country. We thank you, Father God, for the blessings, restoration, open doors, the opportunity, the healing power, signs and wonders, miracle healing that will happen in their life. And we thank you, Father God, because you've already done it. Nearly every day we receive testimonies after testimonies. And we thank you, Father God, that you'll do it again this morning. We give you the glory, the honor, the praises to be yours and yours alone. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray and somebody shout amen. amen. Somebody shout to the Lord, amen. amen. Turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor, I greet you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I take this time to welcome you all in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And not forgetting those that are faithful uh, viewers, followers of uh, the souls of Jesus or New Methodist Christian Fellowship. A lot, a lot of testimony that we are receiving from Mexico, even up to Mexico. Hallelujah. And uh, testimonies from New Zealand, from Australia, from England, are those that are having their training or school somewhere in the Asian continent. We are receiving a lot of testimonies of what God doing through Facebook. Hallelujah. So you are sitting here, you can grab the opportunity to be blessed too. Amen. Praise the Lord. That our God is real, can do it to you. Praise the Lord. God is good. Yesterday there was a child there, about three o'clock, I saw the viber, uh, that very sick, that can't stand up, can't run around, and uh, I checked the viber, that was about five or six o'clock in the morning, but the message was sent about three a.m. Hallelujah. So when I pray home, I just, I did not pray, uh, uh, pray from my mouth, I pray through the viber. Hallelujah. After a few minutes later, then uh, they sent a picture of a little girl running around again. And after two or three days, lying down, vomiting, and uh, the rests on her body, and what God can do. So you really need to believe when you come to the sanctuary that God will do something in your life. That you are not coming here just because it's another program. You don't come here just because it's another new Methodist church program. You come here because there's a father in heaven here. The Bible says when two or three gather in my name, two or three gather in my name, I mean their means. And the Bible says when there is a presence of God, there is healing, there is wonders, there is signs. That's why we run to the altar. That's why we run so somebody call us for prayers. So you must believe that, that today God will do something in your life. You've been waiting for something in your life. You've been waiting. I don't know your finance, your family, or overseas trip, or promotion in your workplace. But God can do all those things. Praise the Lord. And I take this time to welcome you once again into Jari Church this wonderful morning. Hallelujah. Turn to your neighbor, tell your neighbor, I also welcome you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 
This lesson here was one of the lessons in the global conference, the five courses of bad worshippers. So when you take the opposite side, there can be five courses of bad or good worshipper. Hallelujah. So last week I was talking about number one, the love for God. That's number one. Hallelujah. Number two, laziness. Number three, faith, faithless. Number four, bad heart. Number five, selfishness. So you can change it on the positive side. You can say number one is love for God. Number two is diligent. Number three is faith in God. Number four, clean heart. And number five, Giving him. Because if if you don't, then you can come to church. People are going to church, but people are facing problems on the day-to-day -day life. Hallelujah. These are the things, the physical things that you need to do. Okay, let us go to number one. Just go through because I already touched that last week. Love the Lord your God with all of your heart, with all of your soul, and with all of your mind. Hallelujah. They call it the greatest commandment. Hallelujah. And number, uh, number A uh, of uh, number one, there's a relationship. I already uh, explained last week. And number two, there is a trust and dependence. We are depending on God. We are trusting in God. And number three, we spend time with God. You can check your love life for God by these three things. If you love God, then there is a relationship. That means a continuous talking, you and God, all the time. If you really love God, you will trust God in everything. You will depend on God. Hallelujah. That is a sign that you really love God. But when you are trusting on things around you, you are trusting your work, you are trusting your house, your car, you are trusting your money, that means you, you, you still not love God the way that you are supposed to love God. Hallelujah. A lot of people go to church but they don't love God. Praise God. That is the truth that we need to swallow. Hallelujah. Praise God. And number three, see time spent with God. You must spend time with God. It's not coming to church. It's not a cell group. This is the time only you and God. This is the time that you talk to God and tell God whatever you want to tell God. Hallelujah. They call it a quiet time. When people don't have a quiet time, they come to church, they are very quiet. If you are quiet in church, that means that you are using the coming to church as a quiet But if you know God in your quiet place, you will not the same of God in the public place. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. After giving my life in 1992, I become a lay preacher in 1993, 1994, I spent a lot of time just in the morning at Black Rock in Nandi or the church in Nazareth in Namaka, just sitting there with God. I, 
I'm who I am in the public today because the time I spend in God in my private life. No, no, we will have a little one on the water. You can't come at the same time. I can't even take it in a no more. I'm gonna kill on the wood. People see my public life, but people don't see my private life. I'm gonna come at the no, we will have a little more. I'm gonna come back with a silly name. No, we will have a they don't see the night of toiling trying to get the lesson sitting up every night late sometimes two three o'clock just trying to get the lesson trying to know the lesson trying Holy Spirit to speak to me on any lesson that I want to speak with. No, 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 now let us go to the second one, laziness. Let us read 2 Timothy 2, 5, 15, right up to 18. We read in English the one on the screen and we'll ask the Talga Siseremaya to read in Fiji. 2 Timothy 2, from 15, right up to 18. 2, 3. Be diligent to present yourself approved to God. A worker who does not need to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, but sharp, profane, and idle babbling, for they will increase to more ungodliness, and their message will spread like cancer. Hamenes and Philatas are of this sort, who have strayed concerning the truth, saying that the resurrection is already past, and they overthrow the faith of some. Mumba tua sara, mumba garet gigo, mumba naka, é na mata de calor. A tamata andou gaga naka, se a naka é mandou aqui na. Boa se a mamã não dorme, não é mamã do mundo dina. E a nanda o tala no apaga Cecila, se a na dia na, mandou ataca. Nina tumbo de que me aqui na, não é mala mala, se a se a na diba galo tu. E a na nora vossa é na cá cá na tico, me apaga na vinte e quatro, vá. Camca aqui na, o Emilio que é filito. É rosa se a se mai, não é mamã do mundo dina. Nira rosa cá o ti, nira tudo que tem mai na mati. Arau sabu kita sara kita, nampaknya bukan bauta so. Ia yang ayam dia ini kalau satu ngah, ia sama kau kau nak bosa sabu lagi kita. Saya kira ia nampak tempat natural. Kamera logo tadi mana ibu bapa kita, kau ini ayam dua, er sabu kita dah dah ikut Kristus. Ia yang nampaknya dia bosa sebab walena. Di tu lebih biru kau, kau lebih biru siliba. Esok tengah lebih biru kau, kau lebih biru kiri. Ia esok satale, ia esok sahaja di tali. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. The Bible says that you must present yourself to be a, a good and faithful worker. Not coming to church and feeling lazy. Because when you lazy, you will be very quick to judge people around you. But then you Praise the Lord. Eh? So because you are coming with a bad attitude, you become a, a bad apple in a cotton. Because of that laziness. This spirit is very dangerous. Hallelujah. Because this spirit will stop you from doing what you're supposed to do. This spirit will hold you back from praising and worship. You always want a shortcut. And in the world you will always want a shortcut. They call it Takanga Merawa. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. So even your clothing, even your house, even where you stay, will say a lot of things about laziness that we have. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Tell to your neighbor, tell your neighbor, I look at you, I know that you have the, the spirit of laziness or the spirit of diligence. Praise the Lord. Okay, let us go to the lesson. Hallelujah. Ecclesiastes, let, let's read the uh, Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes 10, 17 and 18. And we'll ask Tautal uh, Sermaya uh, to read, uh, hallelujah, in Fijian. Let us read it in English. Two, three. 
Blessed are you, O land, when your king is the son of nobles, and your prince feast at the proper time, for the strength and not for drunkenness. Because of laziness, the building decays, and through idleness of hands, the house leak. Hallelujah. Ecclesiastes chapter 10, 17 and 18. Okay, let us read in, uh, in uh, Proverbs 19, 14 and 16. 2, 3. Houses and riches are an inheritance from fathers. But a prudent wife is from the Lord. Laziness cast one into a deep sleep. And an idle person will suffer huge. He who keeps the commandment keeps his soul. But he who is careless of his ways will die. Hallelujah. So this is one of the things that really decay our system. Hallelujah. Because of laziness. We lay to work. We don't look after our plantation. We don't go uh, early morning to pray. Because of the laziness is really like a prison to us. So we are non-achievers. Hallelujah. And when we fail, we don't want to stand up and move again and try again. Because of laziness. See, if somebody is lazy and very smart, that is a big problem. Because we'll always talk and always explain, but he's not doing any work. But if somebody is not really that smart, but he's a worker, wherever he is, you'll see the, the signs of an intelligent person. Wherever you put this person, it will accept. Praise the Lord. Amen. That's why the devil is using the spirit of laziness to pull people back. So you don't wake up early in the morning. So you don't do your best. You don't do the things that you are told to do because you want just a shortcut. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And there are four lessons or three lessons. Hallelujah. As we go to the next page. Laziness is one of the demons that is a barrier and blockage of God's provision and blessing to us. So it's, it's becoming a barrier. Amen. Hallelujah. Lazy, laziness is the devil's pillow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you can do a lot of things in a 24 hours. 24 hours is given to us. Imagine if you can work for the 12 hours. Just work and work and work and work for the 12 hours. A lot of people, they just want eight hours. Praise the Lord. Amen. So we really need to check our life. Because we can come and worship. We can come and lift up our hands. But somebody not coming to church. And he's very diligent about the things that he's doing. So we need to check our life. So God will open the door to the one that, uh, that does it than the one that just saying it. Because the Bible says not all those that say Lord, Lord, Lord will enter the kingdom. It's very, very important for Christians today to understand that. Because sometimes we use the shortcut just worship, just come to God and we don't do the physical things the, the duty that we're supposed to do hallelujah praise the Lord that's why the Bible says Yo, you must work your faith if not your faith will die okay what are the causes of laziness number one it's a demon you must know that laziness is a demon. Praise the Lord. Chimon, you got a chimon, and if you are lazy to stand up in the morning, that means one one demon is hugging you. 
Nanu mati pun aku di sambung tu naya orang ni. Bela bela bela. Kau main dia dia nanu mendo tu bagi nanu tak lain lagi. Bising itu tu naya orang bela bela. Then you know the reason why you sitting like that because one thing but it's not. Kau main even your, your, your poster, your poster will tell us whether we are eager, we are excited about the church. Oh, you just come, you just want to fill up the chair. So the chair is supporting your laziness and the demons of laziness. So what are the causes of laziness? Number one, it's a demon. Number two, it is inherited. That means it comes from your father or from your grandfather or from your mother or your grandmother. Another woman that was born in the same way that you were born in the same way. So no one else may be kind. Else may be a pastor. Else may be kind. Else two kind of Buddha. May be some. Hallelujah. So if you check your grandfather is a worker, that means that you must a worker too. If you check your parents that they are worker, then you must be a worker too. But if you check your parents that they are not a worker and they are lazy, be careful that uh, that uh, demons can come to you. So they call it Hallelujah. When somebody go to the coffee in the spirit, they jump to another person. Number three, it's influence. That means you catch it where, wherever you are, in school, in your workplace. Or maybe in a community like uh, in a Mukelao. So because then house are doing it, then house are doing it. They, they don't clean up their compound, they don't clean up their house, they don't paint their house. Oh, everybody should be like that. Praise the Lord. And number four is the attitude. Attitude is something it's in you. You must have a right attitude. Hallelujah. Check your attitude where your attitude is right. Praise the Lord that you are willing to do it. That your answer is always yes. You tell the people around you it can be done. When people, when people say half empty, you say no, it's half full. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. When you see people, you don't see their negative. For example, somebody walking on the road. The clothes he wears. All of the shoes that he wears. Praise the Lord. You will see not that. You will see he's been walking. He's fit and and healthy. But, but if you continue to see the bad things, that means your attitude is negative. Turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor, what do you see in me? Praise God. Let us go to the other one. A, B, C. Let us go to the C. Hallelujah. See what other effects of laziness. Laziness will affect all your areas of life and can be contagious to people with you. So what are the effects? So we talk about what causes? Hallelujah. No, this is what the effects. Hallelujah. So the effects, if you have Buddha on the left, we'll say lazy, supported by one lies and cunning. Number four will be foolishness and stupidity. Number six will be round to motto and busybody. So you have excuses all the time. You have excuses all the time? That means you are on this side. Hallelujah. If you have can do, rawa, then you have diligence, number two. You have number one, so truth and faithfulness supports you. Number four and number five, knowledge and wisdom. Number six, hardworking. And number seven, perseverance. That means it can be done. Whatever it takes, it can be done. So try to 
hear yourself again in yesteryears. Your answer is excuses or your answer is can be done. Then you know exactly the effects that have in you. That means you have laziness and all the seven spirit around you. If you have diligent and you have seven spirit around you. Hallelujah. Praise Lord. This is a lesson that I took on one of our uh, night at a global conference. But you are really blessed today. It's in the picture. Hallelujah. So laziness is something that attacks seven other spirits. And uh, really be with you all your life and make it difficult for you to achieve what you're supposed to achieve. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. So you know that laziness, Buddhists are, they are supported by lies and cunning, Lord. So the lies become part of your life. Because, because you are lazy to do the things you're supposed to do. So you shortcut by telling a story. Oh, it's like this. It's like that. But you are lying. But when you are lying, remember, cunning is just next to lying. Because you are cunning, you are lying. These two, they cannot go without one another. So, Lasu Lasu and Lawaki, they are always together. You can't be a Lawaki without Lasu Lasu. You can't be a Lasu Lasu without Lawaki. They always go together. Very, very important. Because these are the ones that they support you if you are a lazy person. But if you are diligent, then the truth, Dina, and Dundon will always support you. Regardless what you do, because you are a diligent person, you will tell the truth. You will always tell the truth regardless how painful it is. Because you know that you can make it. Because you have the spirit of diligence. Hallelujah. Regardless of the mountain, you will climb the mountain. You will not lie. Because of the Nondono and the Dina are always with you. You can't make it, you'll say, I can't make it, but I'll make it later. And if I don't have it, you'll say, I don't have it, but I'll have it later. Praise the Lord. Am I talking to somebody today? Now we go to the second row. After one, two, three, then you have four and five. Foolishness and stupidity. That's if you are on the side of laziness. So we are not managing well. Because we are lazy, we, are, we don't manage our time well. The time to awake, we are sleeping. The time we are sleeping, we are awake. Because Yahweh and Lelia is, uh, is supporting you from the back. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So you are doing the wrong thing, the right thing at the wrong time. Hallelujah. So you are not managing well. You don't manage well your time. You don't manage well your life. You don't manage well your finance. You don't manage your family well. Why? Because of laziness. But when you have diligence, you will continue to do it. You will repair what's supposed to be repaired. You will clean what's supposed to be clean. You will collect what's supposed to be collected. You will wash what is supposed to be washed. Because you have the diligence in you. Hallelujah. 
So you, you will not lose the little things that you already have. And when you are faithful with the little things, then God will add more things. The little things. The little things. The little things. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God is good. Now, go to the other side. Four and five. Knowledge and wisdom. So foolishness against knowledge, stupidity against wisdom. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So the little things that you have you can manage well the little time that you have you can do something about your life little by little pets by pets footstep by footstep it becomes a big thing because you are very wise in managing your life when you can handle the little thing then God will give you the big thing because of knowledge and wisdom Hallelujah! Amen. Praise the Lord! God is good. You know, sometimes, for example, for example, thank you, Holy Spirit. For example, say you bought a car. You, you bought a car? After one month? Yeah, after one month, you You bought a car? After one month? You bought a After one month? Everybody happy in your family. After two months? You Continue to reduce to a little happiness. After three, four months, it's becoming normal. Not cleaning, not perform uh, uh, some uh, form of water and uh, uh, oil into the engine. Hallelujah. Sometimes I pass a car at a red station I and J. They are very old. Because they don't look after the car. So no na so no motoka saramata wa ya dona kale muti mo asini karabi mo abinaka. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. So when you are diligent, you will look after that small thing. Ni tigo bikenda ro mama mo tu bikenda ro 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 karabi la bikala la ibo. So because we are lazy, but let the leader ro kuni sa. And uh, we are not looking after the little things that God bless us with a house or a car or a job. So in this story, in this case, we are talking about a car. Somebody come, can I can I borrow your car to take to, to go there? You start to give your car to every Tom Dick and Because of the foolishness and the stupidity. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Sometimes people can't say no or they can't say uh so talk straight to, to something that they must talk straight with. That car was not bought for all the congregation. That car was bought for your family. That car was bought for you to take you to work and look after your, your children and your wife. But because of the negative in the neighborhood and the mindset of a tokay, or that family just have a car, they don't want to pick us on the road. Hallelujah! The car was not uh, was not uh, bought to pick everybody on the road. Yeah. Praise the Lord! Because when that car have a problem, the one that you pick on the road will never buy. Anything. Praise the Lord! You have a house. Hallelujah! And you don't look after the small house. Say just one bedroom house. You don't look after that one bedroom house. How can God give you to a, a two room house or a three bedroom house when you can look after the one bedroom house? Praise the Lord. Laziness can bring us foolishness and stupidity, but diligence will give us help to what? 
wisdom and knowledge. Na budi sana kau tuh mungkin taruh na elway, buatnya kena lihat dia. Ia na mama ku tuh nak kena susun mungkin taruh na buku kena elu tua. And because the Bible says when you are faithful with the little things. Pada tadi kau mula tahu mungkin buat dina tak kau lay. You are faithful with the little things. Kau dina tak tahu nak kau lay. In your work, you are very faithful with your small work. In orang mula ni tak tahu kau yang buat dina tak nak kasar ngalai. Maybe you just a clerk. Sebab tuh dia kerap dia kerap. Or maybe you just a small, maybe a secretary. Saya itu lebih kerap dengan teman ibu di bola. Just the money, Randini always testify. She joined the Pacific on the lowest level, club type. Is that the lowest level in the Pacific at that time in 1992 in Nusul? Dan tu punya alat awal yang mana Randini nanda nanda Randini tanpa kasih lewu. Nona dulu pun agen awal ni dah tak kaya. Tiga bus orang Amerika. Nona nak pura lebih kerap. She was working in the Regional Hotel in Nadi, but because we moved to Suma. Hallelujah. She has to resign. She was, she was holding a good job in the front office in the region hotel in, in Denarau at that time. The only hotel in Denarau in those years. Don't know any more hotel. I'm going to go to my SSO for a CMB to go to Denarau. I'm going to tell you that I'm going to go to my SSO. Because I've resigned and joined a Pacific in Osori. But at least I didn't mind you some being a rabbi and a Pacific in Osori. She came and worked with Tapu City, but we were staying in Nakasi. And it was easy for us to go to Nusori. We were still looking for a work in Nusori or work in the airport. It will be easy for us. Kita orang yang berdiri tu mina kasih mana tidak ada lagi nana betul saya kena buat ni dalam tak. Kita orang yang bangga hati kita dalam tak mina perlu kita bawa mina. So there was a good job from Tapu City in the just opposite McDonald's ANZ building. So she worked there for about few months. Main dulu nana dalam tak mina betul Tapu City. Main dalam tak lagi nalo mana betul nana bula. But because of the distance and the kasi and the traffic, remember those was about 20 years ago, 30 years ago. But and uh, we were looking for opportunity in Nusori. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm talking about this diligence and laziness. And this one good example. Now there was a job in the Pacific, a clerk typist. Main dua ini adalah bagaimana persib itu mendorong bingkai kami bagai bulu bola. Saya tahu tak apa tanya. Hallelujah. At that time they have short hand, and you must have a rate of a of a word in a minute. Doa tiba na na itu betul betul mana short hand, mesti kau bingko. Perni kau gay turun pagi lepas lepas gay. So a lot of people apply, and they were shortlisted to about five, and she was one of the five. Mana lima kali ni gay tiba tiba gay lama kau. Hallelujah. Out of all the hundreds that apply. Only five short lists, and he was one of them. She was one of them. My name is the Nandra Upara. Bolo bolo ya ni. Lima lima ngah short list yang mai tipe lomba ba. Hallelujah. And she is not a typist. Kau yang sering dapat type lomba. See, in those days we have what we call short hand. Nono naya dalam tipe na sorry yang sering ngah lekap. Hallelujah. When somebody is speaking, we don't have a recording facilities that we have now, and they do short hand to capture everything. Na na tutu mo na lingaleta seto mo ay taka na mo na yan singa kina na kami do rumo di sa mga record taka kina na kaka na tutu ni may na mo na ni mosi may ay taka na may bola isay bola ito taka na lingaleta. All the five, she does not have any certificate at all in typing. Forget about the short hair. May na lilo mo ay singa sa nga ni tibo mo ay don a steam kitim ni typa si short hair. Hallelujah. She was picked. Ngay hindi kita kung ano ni tutu. She came into the Pacific in 1992. At the very lowest level of the company employment. They, 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 sometimes they, these, these are the people they make tea. So who gonna know? You don't go to the Pacific and make tea. She left the Pacific in 2012. May you meet any in the Pacific and run into the Pacific? So you see about 20 years of working. In the Pacific. She resigned as a executive manager in marketing and promotion. My career moved to an executive manager level in executive manager level in marketing and promotion. She always says, "Share." She does not complete form six. No, what she has always come up with is she was about to form six. When she was recruited into her last position. Those need the masters or maybe a double degree. No, no, no. Because if you make a semester, you need two, two. But you don't need two, two. Yeah. You know, when you see a man that can do one of masters, that degree. But because of her, her work rate. But let me know, no, no, no. Don't worry about that. Of her work rate, which is diligent. But let me know, mama, kutu. Now, what's going on, mama? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. 
So I want to challenge our life today because we can, this is something that Christians need to understand. That God will bless you spiritually and God will also bless you physically. The physical that we are lacking at the moment. Because we thought the spiritual thing that we do, we are not doing 100%. We are just sometimes just for show. So I want to challenge our life today. As we come to, to the end of the Bible study this morning. Just look at your life again. Do you have the spirit of diligence? Or do you have the spirit of laziness? Because when you have the spirit of diligence, I tell you the open doors will be in front of you all the time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise of the atmosphere, the environment will be favor for you. For people that they do plantation in the village, for those that have the spirit of diligence, you will see the cassava, the yam, the kawaii, the kumala will always take up. They will eat and left over. Why? Because of diligence. You see somebody is a worker, work hard early in the morning. You'll see that they will always enjoy because of the abundance in their life. So I want to challenge our life this morning. Just touch your neighbor, touch your neighbor. Which spirit do you have? Because if we have the wrong spirit, we have the wrong seven other spirits. But if you have the right spirit diligence, you have another seven following you. Praise the Lord. Slap your neighbor, slap your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, are you listening this morning? This is something that can change the atmosphere of our worship. Will change the atmosphere of our praise. Sometimes we sit in the church, we just swear. we just very close to sleeping. Lullaby. Remember, the devil does not want you to come and get something from here. So the, the spirit that the devil is, is, is allowing to stand across there is the spirit of laziness. Because when you have the laziness in church, people will not worship properly. People will just uh, daydreaming. They are sitting here, but they are not here. Touch your neighbor. Are you here, here, or are you here, there? Or are you here, everywhere? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now we are about to worship Him. The worship team is ready for a worship song. Now, let us remove all the lazy elements in our life before we hear testimonies and what's item. Let us remove that spirit of laziness. Hallelujah. In our life. And worship Him. The way we supposed to worship him. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Oh, we glorify your name, Lord. We magnify your name this time, this, this situation of our life. Hallelujah. We thank you for the Bible study. Oh, hallelujah. We thank you. We praise your mighty name, Lord. We magnify your name, Lord. We thank you for this opportunity. Oh, Karasa Karamaba. Karamakura Basiki. Thank you, Jesus. We praise your mighty name. We thank you, Father God. If you are watching through Facebook, you are watching through. Hallelujah. 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 Let us worship Him. Let us worship Him. Hallelujah. 
will have the spirit of self-righteousness. Help God this, help God that. I'm here, Lord. I'm here in your presence. I come to you, Lord. I come to you. I come to you.
Hallelujah.